Welcome back to the 504. If you haven't heard this controversy yet, you've been living under a rock. Recently, a picture of a woman in an Atlanta classroom went viral. The internet named her Teacher Bay, and a debate was started about whether her attire was appropriate for the classroom. Well, we now know more about her. Her name's Patrice Brown, and she's not a teacher. She's a classroom assistant. Atlanta's public school system has issued a statement now saying that she has been given guidance regarding the employee dress code, the use of social media, and Georgia Code of Ethics for Educators. They say she has been cooperative in addressing her presence on social media. Shira Ray and Andy Eaton, our fashion experts, are hanging out tonight. And I want to know, you guys heard of this controversy, right? Clearly. And yes. everybody had an opinion on mm -hmm. it. You ladies are fashion women. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. going to know what else to call you. <laughs> fashion, fashion women. women. Yes. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this appropriate? Inappropriate. I'm professional on every level. I'm not feeling it. Shara was <laughs> waiting to come out the gate. Okay. I mean, I think the way an educator dresses, it sets the, t the tone, excuse me, for uh, young boys and not just young boys, young girls. Yeah. And, you know, it's just if she weren't in the classroom taking these pictures, if she didn't hashtag like she referenced education all the time. Yeah, yeah, and you it know, doesn't match the hashtag. It does not match. Because the dress, yeah. I think, is fine for real life. Sure. Right. Um, yeah. In a classroom, I don't think so either, Andy. Yeah, I mean, I agree. She she looks great. There's no question. She looks, she looks amazing. Not a it's for not... all those who want to say women are haters who are right. saying we don't she's like her. Beautiful. Right. She's beautiful. It's not about her being mm. a beautiful woman. It's about that she's at work in a classroom. Yeah. And like also maybe get to work, not let's take photos while we're in school. Like what? Yeah. How'd she even have time for that? <laughs> I don't know where she found the time where she either. Got time? I don't know. I do feel bad that she has been so attacked yeah. because I would like to think, I'd like to think the best of people, that maybe she's yeah. just a young girl yeah. first getting into this world. You know the world sexualizes women and we're yeah. worth nothing unless we're sexy. So maybe she feels like this is the only way to get attention. But let's take a look at some of her Instagram posts, mm -hmm. okay? Because yeah. you know I had to dig. I was like, let me see what her life is about. Yeah. So yeah, it's not looking too good on social media for her. Yeah. Most of it, I'm not gonna lie, is her boobs. Right. Yeah. In, in some I way, shape, that. or form. So there's this picture, which is boobs. There's this video, which starts on her boobs. Yeah. Which, look, if that's what you want to do with your life, fine. But like you say, you can't tag yourself as educator right. and education. And all you have to show us is your boobs over and over. I'm not right. feeling it. No, I mean, no matter what, what profession we're in, people are checking your social media. Yeah. Especially so, these young kids. You yeah. telling me they don't know Miss Patrice's Instagram? They definitely Baby, do. they know Miss Patrice's Instagram. So the little <laughs> girls are going to want to dress like you, the little boys going to be staring at you. No. And, and a lot of people said about her body type, right? This dress would be fine on someone else. What do you guys think about that? I don't that? agree with that either. I don't agree that she can't. Well, what I think is they're saying, oh, just because she has curves, yes. mm -hmm. um, it's just going to fit her that way. No, you can, you can wear something else that's not going to Highlight and yeah. accentuate. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I you have I mean, to dress for your body type. That totally. didn't make sense to me. That's like a flat-chested person, a person with bigger boobs, ha being able to wear the same dress. Right. No, you can't. It's not a <laughs> diss to one's body type, but in, on some person, the boobs are going to be out, and on some, it's not. Yeah. So not only do we have to worry about the kids, we yeah. have to worry about the parents. Because I mean, when you get husband or I'm not worried about that. <laughs> if you got a nasty husband who looking at the teacher's aid, that's not that girl's fault. <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're yeah, right, but yeah, let's I mean... Let's not let them off the hook. Okay, we, we, we won't, but... but everything else I agreed with you. Okay. All right, Teacher Bay. sorry. No, teacher now on to another controversy in the fashion world. Designer Marc Jacobs' fashion show for Fashion Week. His collection is under fire because he cast predominantly white models, but they rocked dreadlocks. So, the hairstylist said the inspiration was from a director and certain types of cultures like rave culture, club culture, acid culture, Boy George and Marilyn. No reference to black people who actually wear dreadlocks. And so somebody tweeted that saying, were there no black models available to wear what they actually wear as a hairstyle? Okay. Are we mad at Mark Jacobs? You can tell the truth. I'm not mad. And yeah, we you? talked about yeah. this actually. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not, I mean, we, we aren't mad. No. Um, this, there's a couple things that we, we both kind of agreed on. Mm -hmm. One, it's like the hair is insanely beautiful. It's like these like, these Colorful like dress. structured yeah. pieces, it's like sculpture. And the hairdressers that worked on that team, actually there's a New Orleans guy that worked on that team. Oh nice! Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean they killed the hair. Okay. Whether or not like the fashion industry has a 
enough diversity in who they're showing on the runway? That's a different that's a different question. You think it's a different thing. Okay, yeah. so Mark Jacobs did respond to those who were crying cultural appropriation, and he said it's funny that people don't criticize women of color for straightening their hair. He also said that he doesn't see color. Okay, so that made people even more mad. So right. he apologizes again for the lack of sensitivity, saying that he did see color, but that he didn't discriminate. So I get, I get why people were mad, yeah. right? So now it's an art form because it's on white people, I think is what people were saying. Sure. And you can't compare it to black women straightening their hair because a lot of women do that to keep a job or to be more acceptable in culture. I agree, but I'm not mad with okay, them. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not trying to make you mad. <laughs> I was just telling you why some people were mad. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm done with y'all. Still to come, guys. I, I don't, I'm not into it enough to even give an opinion. So when he did it, I, I really didn't even know what. Somebody had to tell me why he was doing it. That's how much I didn't know what was going on. Lil Wayne is asked to weigh in on the Colin Kaepernick controversy and it leads to a tragic interview. We have that next.